Hello, scholars. All right, today we're doing like the Bergenworth campus and we're doing like the bugs around the campus and like uh, why did the lecture hall get pulled into the nightmare? Fun subjects like that. Uh, none of it's too controversial. It's all pretty straightforward. This might be a bit of a longer video. Uh, uh, so let's get started. One thing about Bergenworth is that it's not it's not part of Yarnum, which is like kind of confusing because every the game is set in a very small physical space. But like Bergenworth's not part of Yarnum, and the people that went to Bergenworth are not Yarnumites. It's just sort of adjacent. Bergenworth itself, the way that you get there is you leave Yarnum, and then there is a town, and then Bergenworth's on the other side of that town. And uh, the town is the area that we know as Forbidden Woods. It's mostly overgrown at this point because it's cut off from the rest of the rest of the world, basically. So it's sort of decaying. And um, we were talking about like, well, is is the university itself just called Bergenworth or is the town like is that area referred to as Bergenworth and it's Bergenworth University in the same way that like Oxford University is in Oxford? I see. Yeah, because that town is never named. Oh, you can talk about the blackboard if you want. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like, what they're actually doing. Because, like, that was... That was another thing that we brought up and didn't record last time. Where it's like... Um, the thing about Bergenworth is that they're not... They're not, like, just... We, we, we're drawing this, like, distinction between, like, there's, like, science and then there's philosophy and they're different things. Bergenworth isn't doing that, which is... It's in keeping with, like, it's obviously it's not a historical story, but that point in time. Where, like, there's not, um, it's, like, less hyper-specialized. There's just, like, the sciences that covers everything. And, like, a scientist can be all sorts of things. So at Bergenworth, they are studying things that they, like, doing empirical tests on things they've dragged up out of the labyrinth. And they're, but at the same time, they're also philosophers and mystics. So they're, they're looking at, like, they're performing, like, we would think of them as, like, biologists. We would also think of them as physicists, because on the blackboards in Bergenworth, there's all these diagrams about how light works, which fits with their obsession with, like, eyes and, like, um, the way there's a giant telescope. They're obsessed with, like, light refracting through things. So they're studying, like, physics and, like, chemistry and biology, but they're also, they're also meditating, they're also philosophers. So they're trying to operate on all these different levels at once. So, like, w Willem is a scientist. There's, like, all this scientific equipment lying around. There's, like, he's got all his, like, uh, specimens in, in cages that have been cut open. He's got, like, weird beakers of stuff. He's, like, studying anatomy and he's studying how light works and he's studying astronomy through his telescope. But at the same time, he's also, like, a mystic. He's also trying to elevate his consciousness to think like a god. Uh, let me see. So, do you think the lecture hall is a part of Bergenworth? Well, that's kind of hard to... Like, I think it is in-game. Like, as far as the story is concerned, like, it's part of Bergenworth. Um, the answer is, like, literally it's part of Bergenworth. It's on the same map. They just make it invisible from the outside. So, like, when you're in the lecture hall, you're still at Bergenworth. You're actually, like... Um, there's, like, raised areas of Bergenworth you can't get to that just look like a flat area with just, like, a wall in the way. That's where you are. And, um, if people are familiar with Lance McDonald's work, he, he, um, t managed to turn off clipping. He could walk through walls. And if you do that, you can just leave the lecture hall and walk to Bergenworth just through a wall. So, like, they're the same place. And um, based on, like, the, the early maps that we have, it looks like the, the original design of Bergenworth was that the the area we think of now as Bergenworth where Willem is, that was on one side, and then there would have been a courtyard, and then the lecture hall would have just been on the other side of that. So you would have just, like, walked between the two. So there would have been, like, Bergenworth lecture hall would have been the main university, and then where we visit now is, like, Willem's private study. And then they just shifted the... Uh, the lecture hall to its own area and said it was in the dreamlands. I see. Uh, so someone pointed out that uh, in the art book, it shows a picture of Bergenworth and then it says Bergenworth comma lecture building. Yep. And then, yeah, there's <laughs> that idea that like the lecture building was supposed to be underneath Bergenworth. Like it's like that basement. Um. Well, well the thing is that like, 
the Bergenworth that we visit in game, it's got a trap door in the um in the the floor, and that never opens. Right. And the theory was, oh, the lecture hall's underground because you would have gone there through the trap door. The problem with that is that the lecture hall's got windows and it's got a door, which both lead outside. So, like, it's clearly an above ground structure. Unless it's like, like Neon Genesis Evangelion and there's like a whole underground city. Like, it, there's no, if it was literally underground, there'd be no reason for it to have windows. But, like, I think you just have to say that, like, it was somewhere in that area and now it's gone because it was taken to the to the dreamlands. Okay. Yeah, because, like, the, it, it makes almost no sense. Like, this yeah. is what I was saying about it being hacked up. Like, you can't... You, you will just send yourself mad trying to understand, like, how any of this fits together. Because it, it doesn't. Like, literally, it doesn't fit together. Okay, so, so you don't know how the lecture building got it warped into the nightmare? Well... Okay, there's a, um, the way you get there is through the amygdala, Mm -hmm. and it connects to, on the, on the ground level, it connects to the nightmare frontier, like you, you open the door, instead of going outside, you walk through this void, and suddenly you're in the nightmare frontier, which is where the amygdala are. Um, so, and in the lecture hall, this is confusing because you go through it twice. The second time you go through it, there is a, a note that says, like, hunt the great ones. And we know that Bergenworth were seeking more third chords, which are the chords from the children of the great ones. So I think the idea is that they were trying to get into the dreamlands to find more great ones to hunt to get more third chords. And something went wrong, and the whole hall got pulled in there. I see. Do you have any thoughts about that, Sinclair? A boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rich has said a lot of things <laughs> in the past 20 minutes. <laughs> just uh, the lecture building. Uh, it's in the nightmare. Any ideas? Um. I don't know, portal guns? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really don't know. The other thing to point out would be that in the... If you're going by the Japanese script, which we've started doing, the um, Japanese script does outright say that is the Bergenworth Lecture Hall. It okay. says it on one of the, the key... The key to the... There's a lecture theatre key, and it just outright says this is the key to the Bergenworth Lecture Theatre. So it is supposed to be Bergenworth. Okay. There was a theory initially that it was part of Yahagul, because... Um, that, like, Yahagul and the Healing Church, like, the idea is they... It talks about them copying the uniform design of Bergenworth. Right. So, when you go into the lecture hall and there's all of these students, and they dress like Bergenworth students, it's like, oh, well, the Healing Church copied the Bergenworth design, so we can't say who this is. There was a theory that it's part of Yahagul because, you know, Amygdala are in Yahagul, connects to two areas where, like, Mensis are screwing around, so... Um, maybe it's like a building in Yahogol that got snatched, but I, I think like just going over it, it's pretty clearly it's part of Bergenworth. Right down to this, there's like a note that mentions like Willem and everything. And the, um, if you go down to the Chalice Dungeons, there is a, there's one specific layer that is themed around Rom. And it is like, it's not a randomly generated layer. It's a set layer that you have to go through. And, um... The boss of that layer is Rom. So there, and like you see Rom spiders everywhere. And that's got in it the, um, the big centipede things. It's like a ton of them. So I think what it's hmm. saying is that like when Bergenworth went exploring the Chalice Dungeons, this is like maybe the culmination of their exploration was this area. And this is where like Rom became a spider or something like that. So I think the idea is that. Just like Bergenworth are digging into the Chalice Dungeons, because that's what the area immediately before Bergenworth is called Forbidden Grave. And it's, like, pretty much explicitly, like, it's this is the grave, as in this is the tombs of the Thumerians, and they were digging it up. And it's forbidden because Willem said it's forbidden. So there's just probably all these just, like, holes and tunnels and things that lead to the Chalice Dungeons around Bergenworth. And the, um, the, the centipede thing would have just crawled up. I think that's it. Like, that's where that comes from. Okay. Um, 
The brain sucker is like people from the choir come and go from Bergenworth because we run into uh, run into Yuri there, and it's possible like Imposter Yosefka goes there as well, depending on on how you interpret things. So it's possible that the brain sucker is like someone from the choir who transformed because a bunch of choir people turn into brain suckers later on. Right. But like also, um, there are brain suckers in the Chalice Dungeons. There are brain suckers that like. People just turn into them. So, I mean, they could really be from anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gardens of Eyes are... Gardens of Eyes are more, like, interesting the more you look at them. Um, they're, the way that they dress is... It looks a lot like what Willem is wearing, but it's less ostentatious. Like, it's the same kind of robe design, but, like basically just has less stuff on it um they're dressed like him i used to think they were dressed like the choir but they're not so i thought oh they're just people from the choir that went here and transformed but they look like kind of like willem so th- this is where it gets some um, kind of like we're going into like um leftover weird stuff that's not explicitly stated but when you go to the research hall in the nightmare there is a statue of a guy who is dressed kind of like Willem, but not. It's like, again, it's a less ostentatious version of Willem's garb, because Willem was obviously the head. And I'm pretty sure that that statue is supposed to be Lawrence, because I don't know who else it would be. And it is of a specific guy, it's not symbolic. What I'm thinking, and I'm pretty sure this is like, I think this is right, um... The idea is that, like, there was Willem, who was the head of Bergenworth, so he had, like, the fancy version of that, like, he had these, like, extremely um, extravagant robes. And then there are the students of Bergenworth who dress like students. But in between the two, there would have been, like, the senior scholars of Bergenworth, who were not the head of Bergenworth, but were, like, teaching the students. So they would have dressed something like Willem does, but less extravagantly because they're less important they're not of that rank I see. and that statue in the nightmare seems to be like if if you say okay that's lawrence then like well he's wearing something that looks kind of like what willem wore that's probably what he wore when he left bergenworth he would have kept his like bergenworth robes so we say okay lawrence is like a um Lawrence is like a senior scholar there. He's like a scholar who would teach students. He's like, um, like the students are the undergraduates and Lawrence is like a postdoc or something. He's like teaching the other students. But Willem is still his master. So I, I think the idea with... This is a very long-winded explanation, but I think the idea is the Garden of Eyes. The reason they dress kind of like Willem is that they're the people who were like on whatever level Lawrence was on. They're like the, the, the senior staff at Bergenworth who aren't Willem. I see. And they transformed into those things because, like, I guess they they were enlightened significantly because Willem was around. Okay. Because they were, like, yeah, they were, they were getting into the Eldritch Truth as well, and that's why they turn into these things. And, like, the regular students just turned into, into slime. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they look kind of like Rom, like, uh, facially. And they're carrying a rock that the rock is kind of patterned with, like, a... The rock also looks like Rom's head. So I get the idea that, like, Rom was... Rom was a, a scholar who turned to this spider thing because she was tapping into the into the Eldritch Truth and she was, like, screwing around and meditating. And maybe this is, like, if you're not quite on Rom's level, but you go through a similar process, you turn into a Garden of Eyes. Anyway. Yeah. So, so it's like, uh, I just bring that up because, like, uh, the guidebook says that, like, the Garden of Eyes, it, it's like uh, Master Willem was, like, harvesting the eyes off the Garden of Eyes, and that's why it's called the Garden of yeah. Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, this is, again, like, weird shit that was going on. Um, because Willem, like, initially, there was a lot more to Willem. Like, Willem would have been a properly interactable NPC and also a boss. Yeah. And what we see now is, like, um, they sort of hacked together, like, leftover Willem resources. To This is sort of why he's, like, senile in the game, is because, like, we've got this guy, we've got a gurgling noise and, like, a pointing animation. So we'll put them together and say that Willem is senile. But, like, 
there's a ton of stuff where he is telling you like fetch me eyes bring me eyes um it's it looks like what you would have gone through with willem is very similar to what you go through in the research hall with adeline where adeline says go and fetch me brain fluid it looks like it would have been that where he would say go and fetch me eyes and you would have to go and possibly kill gardens of eyes to get the eyes and bring them to him that would have been and like he he out yeah he outright says like um bring me eyes i need to put eyes in my brain so he is like collecting eyes and trying to physically shove them in his head so do you think that's still going on in the game i i don't know like it's this is what i mean about like it's written based on notes where like that's probably true at one point right now i i don't know because i don't know what he's doing now he's just it just looks like he's meditating yeah so let's very quickly go over what Rakuya says about the Amygdala and Bergenworth. He says, There's evidence to suggest a connection between Amygdala, Bergenworth, and the Garden of Eyes slash Migo Zombie. Bergenworth's garden is aligned with statues of mutating humans, some of which resemble Amygdala. Uh, the Garden of Eyes, exclusive to Bergenworth, has Amygdala traits as well. Like having the same number of limbs, 10, they both have segmented tails, and both have large skulls aligned with numerous eyes. On top of that, they carry black orbs, which depict a ten-legged spider, and which are aligned with numerous eyes. There are important differences as well, like the Garden of Eyes uh, having wings and being kin, which Amygdala is not. Uh, the Garden also has five fingers and toes, whereas Amygdala has six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. That is like a good point to bring up, is that the Garden of Eyes it is somewhat similar to the Amygdala. You know, we know that, like, Patches the Spider worships the Amygdala, you know. Lord Amygdala, you are as a lamb to my god. And then on the 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 little, like, uh, I don't know, meteorite fossil thing that the gardens hold, it has a picture of, or it has some kind of image of, like, a spider on it. And it's like, you know, Patches, like, might have been a student of Bergenworth at one point in time or something like that, who knows? So it's like, well, were the students trying to turn into Amygdala or something like that? And then in the uh, Phantasms and Kin post by uh, Last Protagonist or uh, Presence, you know, he, he pointed out that, like, the Gardens of Eyes and the research patients, they're very, very similar. And the way the research patients are being created is that somehow there's, like, some kind of water or something like that that's, like, being imbibed into their bodies, or it's called brain fluid. And then that somehow fills up their head with water and then it starts moving around and then they even lose their heads and some weird stuff is going on. And then apparently in like an earlier draft of the game, it's like you, you could even put on a garden of eyes head on your head as like as as like a helmet in the same way that you can put on a research hall patient's head on top of your head as if it's like a, a helmet or a hat or whatever. Uh, you know, odd choice. Part of the point of, like, the DLC, I think, is to make some some things in the game a bit clearer. And so I think maybe, like, the research hall with the patients in it is supposed to make it a bit clearer about what they were trying to achieve at Bergenworth with the Gardens of Eyes. Oh, and, like, an another important thing to point out is that the research hall patients, they cause frenzy, uh, just like the Gardens of Eyes. And also, like, another thing that we should point out is that the uh, the Winter Lanterns are kind of like the superior form of the Research Hall Patients and the Gardens of Eyes, because they cause, like, the most significant frenzy, and they're, they're just the worst, right? So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 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 I give up. There are, like, fossilized spiders that kind of look like the rock that the Garden of Eyes is holding. So I'm wondering if, like, the Bergenworth scholars were digging underground and then they dug up these rocks that of, of these, like, basically just fossilized spiders. And then, like, the little, like, eye parts on the other side are, you know, like the spider's eggs or something like that. And then having that object is what turned the gardens of eyes into these these like infected creature things because it, it it almost looks like there's like two distinct creatures that have amalgamated together to form the gardens of eyes right like like there are the regular limbs of like a human right with like two arms two legs but then it's like literally there's like another creature inside the host's body that is starting to protrude out of it physically so it, again, it's it's almost like there's like a parasite that's inside the body and it just keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger until it's literally like starting to like, to like, 
to just again just like kind of like break out of the body so the limbs are sort of like tearing out of it and stuff like that if the guards of eyes are supposed to be sort of like amygdala um you know patches can give us that little like uh, tonsil stone and it's described as like a meteorite that just sort of fell out of the sky so it's like maybe the the little rock that the gardens of eyes have maybe that was like a meteorite that fell out of the sky that they found i think I think the strongest link might be between the research patients and the Gardens of Eyes. I think that's maybe what they're most similar to. But then Rikuyu brings up an interesting point about how all around Bergenworth are these statues of people who, who where they look like they're transforming into the Amygdala, right? So it kind of comes across as like the Amygdala are very, very important to Bergenworth. And then the Amygdala, they even transport people to the lecture hall. So I don't know. There's just, there's so much going on and it doesn't make much sense to me. And I still don't really know exactly what the significance of the Amygdala are. They're just sort of there. And I think I'm just going to give up. I don't know.